What's up, what's up, people? It's another day, and welcome back to Felix Entertainment News. My name is Felix, and if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the content that we share and bring to you up here. Today, I want to talk about something that has been happening in our industry now. Um, it's like, yes, it's got to do with um, the news that we've been hearing over the past few weeks and days. Highly spiritual music. Hey, record label, we've seen them bring up a lot of talents um, from Yao Beck Mo to Mr. Drew Mo to Creamy, you know. That guy has one of my favorite songs ever. And you know, Chase Obon and Necra, I still feel it. And all these guys actually came from highly spiritual music group. In recent times, Yahoo said last made so. Um, the hit song go Benya yeah, Friday night. He was signed under that label. Ah, you can see that KY and his highly spiritual music record label. No, they are doing a lot for the industry. But in the last few weeks, no, you say Mr. Drew, every ho. You say last mid, last mid the year bar or join your and say last mid so every ho. Creamy so you say we free ho. And and um, they didn't come with an announcement. But Mr. Dude, you know, he was on TV three few weeks ago um, saying that uh, the contract expired, you know, he didn't want to renew it, even though the record label put it on the table for him. But he chose to go on as a solo artist. Maybe I mean, he has had a better offer from another label or he has a bigger deal ahead of him. But Mr. Drew decided not to continue to work with highly spiritual music group. Afterwards, you say Kwa came to post a picture of his, his latest signees art. Professor Church said, these are the artists that we now have, or these are the artists that are recognized under the highly spiritual music record label. And he had uh, Sugar Lord, Mona. The Sugar Lord is a talent that we already know with three other artists. Ever so. And this has, has brought up a lot of conversation with regards to artists, management, and the record labels. Now, I realized that after the announcement, these artists, after leaving the record label, are now promoting their personal YouTube channels. And that is the point. Because, look, at the end of the day, though, whether Last Mid or Mr. Drew, you know, they have their own reasons for leaving the record label. There might be issues. Oh, well, record label, you no, know, and I say artist management, nah, you and I, as third parties or outsiders, may not be privy to into. I wouldn't want to go into why. Because, look, if all was well... The record label and the artist wouldn't have part ways. In the end, they are part to be there is not satisfied, and a part to be contribution is not satisfied or meeting the part of deal. No, and a part to be back who decided to leave. But I want us to honestly look at the fact that the kind of agreements that our artists go into record labels with record labels when they are signed. Now, with the record label, you know, you are now going to start building your youtube from scratch that is from one meanwhile the record label has built subscribers of their youtube channel with your videos with your projects with your creativity and with your hit songs okay links entertainment it's a similar thing over there links have had artists from asem's days richie himself who is the owner from miss v days from ziggy days up through uh, ABC and Nekwa Miyuji Nikidi. And these are big names in our music industry. And on these big names, their songs, their craft, Lynx Entertainment has built one of the strongest and over a million subscribers YouTube channel. Now, when the artist leaves the, the, the record label, they now have to start their YouTube channels from one. After being in the industry for no matter how long they are, they have to start building their channels from one. And that has become a matter of concern for me. I feel artists need to be conscious when they are signing these agreements and joining record labels. Because, fine, mostly in the beginning, it feels like you need a record label. But you have to be forward-minded. And remember that one day, you are going to become an artist that would want to be on their own. If you don't sign agreements without understanding the terms and conditions that you are putting yourself into. Do not sign agreements with record labels as if you are signing a life assurance policy because most of the time, 
those agreements, those contracts will come into an end. And when they come to an end, you will now have to take up your clothes, take up your career, take up your bag, and move forward in your career as a solo artist. And that is where you would need to use all these things. So when you are giving contracts to sign, don't look at it like, oh, it's an opportunity that has come. Yes, it is an opportunity. But find a lawyer if you don't understand some of the terms. Find people who understand these things to go through with you so that you can know the terms and agreements in the contract that you are signing. Because it will be painful for you to put in a lot of hard work, build a brand, build an image, and when you leave a record label, you have to go back and start building again from scratch one. A lot of artists' careers have failed. Especially, links now. it's very difficult for them to get back on their feet because starting from the scratch, it's not easy. And links already have built you, you've used you to build the numbers. Intino, now I would like to urge young artists when you are signing contracts, go through the terms, go through the agreement. Make sure you are not hanging yourself in such a way that when you leave the record label, it becomes very difficult for you to continue to survive, not just blow, blow no ho, sell better popular, but to survive, to make money off your craft and take care of yourself and live the life that a star or an artist should be able to live. No, make sure you are not giving that away to the record label when you leave them. So, guys, we know I know the artists leaving record labels, no, a can life, no, it happens all the time. But young artists, when you are joining record labels, be careful what you are signing on to. And always remember that there will be life after the record label. All right, guys, so my name is Felix. And today I've been talking about artists and record label issues. If you love what you are hearing, make sure before you leave, you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you become part of the conversation. Leave your comments, leave your suggestions, and let's stay interactive. Thank you and have a great day.